like it came on during the Gamescon uh, stream today. There we go. A little bit of a sidetrack with the side mission, but why not? I just like how you can, um, like, eventually you'll find there's, there's so many, so many different uh, weapons and things you can unlock. I mean, abilities. There we go. Somebody thought this video would make for great internal communications. I'm looking at you, Mr. Tomasi. So, this is where the magic happens. Whoops. Anyway, I, I've been here for 24 years now. I've always been here. And, and through those years, we've made astonishing discoveries, authored studies of grave importance, and in all this work, there is one thing we know, and that's how little we truly know. Rest assured, we're committed to keep pushing the known laws and borders of reality. So make the Bureau proud. So, welcome. Assuming you have the necessary clearance, and, and do follow the safety protocols. Read the manual. Otherwise, bad things will happen. How are we sure? <laughs> Research sector, huh? Home of the Bureau's mad scientists. Oh, hello. Marshall, well... Follow the, uh... The enemies, I suppose. How dare you dodge that couch and that bin?
so Dr. Darling's office is this way. Oh, it actually shows you on the map. doesn't really swing well enough, but... Okay. Uh, let's see. Hello, Janet. Shoot the radio for services to awful music. <laughs> you know what? Because you asked so nicely. Is it doesn't work that way. Hi Carla, does it strike you as odd that Darling insists on having us appear in those bizarre videos of his? I mean, we just stand there, he doesn't even let us have lines or anything. Don't get me wrong, beat a day in the lab, plus it's great to work with you. Oh yeah, I finished the comparative analysis of two black rock samples you sent, the prism or whatever you called it. I filed them in the usual place under C for Carla, a handy... Mnomic... Mnomic device. Right. Haha. <laughs> Uh, anyway, let me know if there's anything you want to discuss about the data. I'll gladly explain. Maybe we can chat about it over some drinks or dinner, even. I can't remember the last time I had a good steak. Maybe we could go together after work sometime. I'm free tomorrow. All the very best. Hubert. Hubert's a smooth operator. So... So yeah, this is a Poets of the Fall Easter egg. <laughs> but unfortunately due to YouTube restrictions, I'm gonna have to kind of like, not listen to it. Although I want to, because I actually do like the song. So, oh, did I catch that? Oh, I missed it, Never mind. So yeah, if you're um, if you're looking for the song, it's um, "My Dark Disquiet" by Poets of the Fall. So I recommend going and listening to it. Oh hi.
Threshold utility. Oh, the song question is there. I'll do that one in a minute then. Uh, thresholds have always been a source of great inspiration and cha great challenge. When the threshold manifests in the oldest house by blank, um, we never know what discoveries it will provide to the Bureau. We almost must always seize these opportunities. This report will examine the process of distinguishing recent threshold events based on utilitarian possibilities. The quarry brought black rock, one of our most invaluable discoveries, but if the mold has any scientific value, it's been difficult to find due to the lengths we must go to in fighting back the particularly prolific plant. These are very distinct cases and worth comparing, as their study offers vastly different dangers and rewards. Refer to file 5-94-1284 for a full report. Song questionnaire. Auditory experience 84C, Poets of the Fall, My Dark Disquiet. Answer questions within two minutes of listening. Did the song elicit any particular emotions? If so, elaborate. Did you at any point feel a strong emotion? If so, what emotion? Did a clear image of a weapon appear during the song? Appear at your mind during the song? If so, elaborate. Provide a detailed description of your current surroundings as you see them. Have you ever heard the murmur of voices when no one is present? If so, what do they say and do you hear them now? 6A, please choose one of the following pairs. Sorry, 6. Choose one of the following pairs. 6A, 1 or 2. 6B, A or B. 6C, day or night. 6D, apple or orange. 6E, burnout or fade away. Fair enough. I'm not going to question it. There's not really much you can question in this game. There's got to be a checkpoint or something around here, right? See, now it's saying I've got to go up there to go to Dr. Darling's office. So is Dr. Darling's office all the way up at the top? Yep. I was going the wrong way all along. is insistent that certain objects of power share a direct connection to the blank an entity or group of an entity or group of entities that we have little information on although I'm allowed to access in his written reports he states there's a clear link between these objects of power the blank the astral plane and the oldest house itself his work supposes these links are innate a fact ingrained into the very blank of objects such as the hotline or the service weapon but if these particular objects were never linked to the blank but had that connection forced upon them. Isn't it strange that no other objects of power require such direct contact with the blank? Isn't it strange that using a service weapon or hotline will result in grievous harm or death if the user is not the director or at least worthy of the role? Why do we assume this involvement by the blank is a natural fact and not something more blank? Refer to 6-23-9382 for full report. I get what you mean about the whole blank thing. Hey, look, I'm in the way. Fuck you, books. Oops. Uh, resonance, it's there, but we can't see it. It vibrates around us, through us, from us. But what if the vibration is conscious? What, if, what could a force like that do? Blank, open the door to a blank. I've called blank. The blank, how many blanks, jeez, admit to force that is far beyond the forces we previously dealt with. It's shown me so much that I have to wonder. Is resonance the key element in all of in all altered phenomena? AWEs, altered items, objects of power, do they share a common blank that we've yet to discover? We can harmonise control points. What else would be the correct frequency allow us to achieve? What if the resonance has been the answer the whole time? Refer to file blank for a full report. Okay. <laughs> what 
What? I have become one with the box. Hang on. Snake! Dun 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 I... Right, get out of the box. Darling's budget request. Dear Dr. Darling, I suspect my colleague Dr. Harrington has already contacted you asking for an increase in the department's budget. I'm not surprised. Parapsychology has always been a squeaky wheel, all fuss with no results. Parakinesiology has always been a stronger department. Um, more breakthroughs, more tangible data, more usable research. I'm sure a man of your esteem can plainly see which department is more deserving of the budget increase. Just think what those additional resources could do for an already formidable research team. Anyway, I know you're a fan of single malt, so I left a bottle of well-aged brown on your desk. Yours in admiration, Dr. Abraham Lewis. Yeah. <laughs> As soon as I saw the box, I was like, I have to do that. I have to do the snake reference. How many blanks in this one? Oh, only the one. The Bureau has spent years studying why objects of power transport users into the astral plane when touched. My predecessor, Dr. Rash, theorized that the potential receptacle determined by Jungian ar archetype, archetypes and the collective subconscious would be inhabited by paranatural energies when it AWE occurred in its vicinity, created an altered item. Over time, a link was created by the blank and the astral plane to that item, making it an object of power. So many additional theories have been raised since Dr. Ash's time. Objects of power placed on the Earth as tests by some astral entity. Our dimension was part of an astral plane once, and the objects were left behind as borders receded. The astral plane was the early threshold into the oldest house but the connection was severed, and now the two are linked solely through the objects of power. I will attempt to disprove some of them in order to thin the herd. Hopefully the truth will emerge. Refer to file 6-32-6498 for the full report. I wish I could go through them and find out what all these were. Um, dimension? Oh well. Show me your dimensional research. Impossibly changing labyrinth. Can never pass through. Oh. Yeah. So that's the ashtray maze. <laughs> it's not where we're supposed to be going. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. I'm looking on my map. Do I have to go all the way to the bottom? I find it strange there's no control point for me to meddle with. Hey, so I was wondering about the plants in research. Is it really necessary to sing to them? I mean, the janitor does have a nice voice and the plants sure seem to like it. Maybe you could just switch it up a bit. I'm getting pretty tired of the tango. And where do these plants even come from? No one seems to remember when they were planted. People like them a bit too much, if you ask me. Are we being invaded by houseplants? Worth looking into. Dr. Lewis. Of course. Oh. Okay. Can I, can I get through here? 
Uh, synchronicity is a phenomenon long recognized by the wise, but the recently, but only recently given a name by science. It's how we rationalize events connected to no identifiable casuality. Uh, yet we are we yet clearly conjoined in purpose. How does a dream foretell an event in the physical plane? Why do hands bail at the death of their master, which has occurred miles away? The world is unified in ways we do not understand, and sometimes we stumble across these invisible, unseen chords and wonder at the result. The visionary Carl Jung laid the road, and now we must walk it. My fledgling research department will make it our mission to reliably reproduce blank behaviour by the close of 1959. Once done, the mechanics of synchronicity will lay themselves bare in due time. We are striding into the future of science. History may not remember our names, but God himself will. I refer to the blank file for additional blank. Can I... No, I don't even want to risk jumping down there. So how far down do we have to go? I can do though. God damn it. Oh, I need to find a control point. I also need to find where to go. I always wonder what that is on the screen. Is it part of a hiss? Is it blood? Where is it? This is why I want to upgrade um, the launch ability, because eventually I'll be able to throw the missiles back at them. See, that's why I was losing so much health. There was somebody above me. I'm at the right level. I'm on the right level. She's in trouble. I need to reach her. die here. Unless I get really lucky. Reload, reload, reload.
AWE 18, transcripts of a call to the California State Services, uh, Emergency Services. Let me just read it, because uh, there's no point in me trying to do both. Okay, so it just seems like she's, it's, she thought she was lost inside the wires and that she would lose, le that uh, the operator would lose her if she um, hung up and then the call got disconnected anyway. But the call was no longer in service when they rang back. Give me a, give me somewhere to save. I'm not, I'm not desperate for it. We've still got, got we've still got a bit left of the stream, so it's just I would rather have somewhere to know that I'm not going to die. In. Oh, there we go. Similar to an iceberg, what you see is not what you always get. Regardless, this place is vitally important to the bureau. Most information on the astral plane is, is classified, but we can talk in broad strokes, keeping in mind. These are staggeringly complex systems, and simplification does them no justice. Now, the white non-space, the ever-present inverted black pyramid, the board, all linked, intrinsically tied to the oldest house, tied to the director, the process of choosing a director, tied to all objects of power in terms of who controls them. Yes. Okay. At least we got a save point. Uh, the Astral Exhibition was originally built for the Astral Nauts to use as a training location. A place to grow accustomed to the sights and sounds of the astral plane before diving into the real thing. We could have done a better job with it, but Blank was being stingy with the budget. However, once we discovered the Blank, we decided to repurpose the space. Similar to how zoos hope familiar surroundings will help the well-being of their animals, we hope to observe the Blank's behaviour um, in an environment similar to its home dimension. So far, it just breaks everything we put in it, but Rome wasn't built in a day. Refer to 319 one one for a full report. New naming conventions being established for this astral entity known as Astral Spike. Outdated terms in this report have been redacted. I am getting a flashback to how this was at one point. Yeah, I'm remembering this bit just because of the save point, strangely enough. was that the mindscape of the astral plane is subjective but that was fast proven wrong it, it's an actual place not, not a construct of the mind even though it is with our minds that we enter and experience it but then one could argue that that's the case with all reality we've been able to record footage of the astral plane by monitoring the brain activity of those experiencing it that is the only concrete material that has come out of the astral plane expeditions apart from Shocking exception. In the astral plane footage, we're always in the vicinity of the pyramid. We've concluded that this, not the entire plane, is what the board controls. We have glimpsed movement, native species always in the distance, and yet contact was made. We don't have footage of this, a technical malfunction, but when one of our astral knots returned, a brain cloud, an astral feud, had hitchhiked a ride in his head. It ruptured out, killing the subject in question. It's a relentless predator, pursuing thoughts, minds, lethal to those the entity feeds on. Proper containment protocols are to be observed when dealing with it. Okay. They keep that thing here. Yeah, so remember that thing that one shot uh, I said one shot to you? Yeah. Uh, 
How many times do you reckon I'm going to die to this? Shit, go the wrong way. Need to come over here. Hey you, yes you, over here. I don't remember how you do this. I think you've got to kind of like trick it. Problem is, is tricking it. <laughs> Where's the other one? Come on, come on. Quick, 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 quick. Probably not done that right. Yeah, I've messed up quite badly. Get it open, get it open, get it open. But it's made you very ill. Someone answer, damn it! We need backup down here. Marshall, are you still there? Shit. We're so close. We need to hurry. His clusters heal other enemies, destroy them to make the fight easier. Well, let's go for it. See, that was always going to be a problem because I dilly dallied too much with the uh, with the the enemy. Then 
I think what I'll do is I'll um, I'll save Marshall and then I'll probably leave it there for tonight. Hopefully it's make me do this fight again. If it does, at least I know what I'm doing this time around, but... No, it's fine. If I can survive this, I'll be very surprised. It's that it's the guys in the chairs as well that are doing the heading. alive? No other enemies? Cool. Hypnosis lab. Shit, there's more of them. Oh, hi. You just see things at the corner of your eye. I would read it, but I've got to keep my wits about me. One more. Music still playing. No? Oh, there he is. Okay. I can make 
make a new weapon form. Pierce. Or I can upgrade... Well, I can't upgrade any of them at the moment. Um... Uh, the report serves an introductory guide to the astral Knot program, including candidate requirements, training practices, and astral research procedures. Astral Knot suggests an individuals to explore and document the astral plane by making physical contact with the X-ray light box. See case file OOP 18 for details in the hypnosis lab, a section of the parapsychology division. Physical psychological training is vital for the repeat transition between planes, known as dives. After each dive, astronauts must undergo a blank session in the cognitive recording chairs to record their experience in the plane. Gathered data has constructively proven that blank within the astral plane vary widely between astronauts. On rare occasions, these dives can result in losses, often occurring when teams encounter aggressive astral entities. Do you know what? To be honest, I don't know how far away I am from the other thing, it's, um, from Game Marshall. So I may just call it for to this evening's stream. I'll read this bit out though. Uh, group rethinking groupthink. The study extends the works of Irving Janis, Robert Barron, and others by proposing strong casual links between groupthink and the passive or active use of telepathy. To prove prove these connections, the parapsych parapsychology department carried out variations of Solomon Asks' um, original conformity experiments using a telepathical individual as a subject. See experiments blank for details. Extensive uh, qualitative and quantitative data uh, resulting from these experiments was then used to identify telepathic interference within the group. Further empirical findings suggest measures can be taken to safeguard against telepathic influence on behaviours by engaging in blank. Rather boldly, this paper stands to revolutionise decades of groupthink theory and provide new directions for further experimentation of the mind including manipulation of blank and blank and refer to file 3-18-2949 I think it was anyway that is the save point and that is where I oh, that is where I will end the stream so yes uh, yeah we're, we're quite a good chunk into well I say quite a good chunk into it it's we're still pretty much right by the beginning to be honest um, there's still a lot left to do but I'm hoping you're enjoying the game feel free to comment um, as you're you know as, as I'm wrapping up um, so yeah um, th that's it for this week's streams um, and I'm looking forward to Tuesday where I can get back into playing this again uh, I, I actually really enjoy control as you can tell uh, the music with the the, you know, the fighting and the story is kind of interesting in itself so yeah um, for those watching on YouTube uh, come and watch along on twitch.tv forward slash shadow wolf LP for those who are um, you know if you're watching on, on Twitch come and watch on um, YouTube just search for shadow wolf LP on there follow me on Twitter on shadow wolf LP one and yeah, for those uh, watching good YouTube, thank you very much for watching. Take care. Have a lovely evening. See you later.